Discus fish have a layer of mucus on their skin. This mucus layer is actually the first meal for their babies. The fry feed directly on their parents' bodies for weeks. Everyone, welcome back. In my last video, I researched cardinal tetra breeding and started preparing for that project. Today, I'm doing something similar, but way more challenging. I'm researching discus breeding. This is considered one of the hardest breeding projects you can do at home. I have two 50 by 50 centimeter tanks here, and I'm thinking one could become a discus breeding tank. But first, let's research everything and figure out if I'm ready to attempt this, or if I need more experience first. First question, how do I identify male from female? Males have thicker lips, a steeper forehead, and more pointed fins. Females have a rounder body and shorter fins. The most reliable method is the breeding tube that appears before spawning. The male's tube is thin and pointed, the females is thick and round, but you only see this when they're ready to breed. So buying a pair is risky unless they're already proven breeders, which costs much more. What equipment do I need? A minimum 40 to 50 gallon tank for breeding. My 50 by 50 centimeter tank is 33 gallons. Borderline small, the could work. Bare bottom tank, no substrate, sponge filter, heater, maintaining 28 to 30 Celsius, breeding cone, and dim lighting. Now the critical part, water parameters. Temperature, 28 to 30 Celsius, pH 6 to 6.5, very soft water, and daily water changes of 25 to 50%. My tap water won't work, but I already have an RO system, so that's covered. The breeding process, first, Hair formation. Discus choose their own mates. This takes weeks or months. They perform courtship rituals, chasing other fish away from their territory, swimming together, cleaning the spawning site obsessively. When ready, the female lays up to 400 eggs in vertical rows on the comb. The male follows behind, fertilizing each row. This takes one to two hours. Both parents guard and fan the eggs constantly. Eggs hatch in 48 to 60 hours. Fertile eggs stay clear, infertile turn white. The parents are extremely attentive, fanning constantly, removing dead eggs. Any disturbance and they might eat everything. Stress is the number one cause of failure. So, I've researched how discus pairs form, the courtship behavior, egg laying, and the critical water parameters needed for breeding. But what happens after the eggs are laid? In the next part, we'll explore what happens when the eggs hatch. How do the fry feed on the mucus layer from their parents' bodies? What happens when inexperienced parents eat their own babies? And critically, after the fry stop feeding on the parents, how do we hatch Artemia brine shrimp? This live food is packed with protein and essential for growing healthy discus fry. If you enjoyed this research and want to see part two, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me and Mika create more content for you. And please, drop a comment. Have you ever bred discus or hatched brine shrimp? Thanks for watching, and see you in part two.